Okay, let's try uh, this problem. We're going to balance uh, this redox reaction in a basic solution. Okay, on the on the way, we're going to see what it would look like if it were balanced in an acidic solution as well. Okay, so in order to do this, we have to first break the reaction up into its half reactions, its oxidation and reduction half reactions. So um, I'm going to just break it up into the pieces and we'll identify whether these are oxidation or reductions. Okay, so that's one of the reactions. The other one, the permanganate, going to manganese 2 dioxide. Okay, so hopefully you can see we're adding oxygens here. So that would be an indication of an oxidation reaction. Okay, so I'm going to put oxidation here as our kind of idea that this might be an oxidation. So the other one we can see we're losing oxygen. So that's another way to, um, to um, know that you're having a reduction reaction occurring. Okay, so we should also see that we're going to lose electrons in the oxidation. We're going to gain electrons in the reduction. Okay, so hopefully that turns out to be the case. And then um, we'll know we got it right. Okay, so the first thing we see, hopefully, is that there's a C and an N on this side, and a C and N and an O on this side. Okay, so that's not good, right? We have to have balanced equations. So how are we going to get O's on this the left side over here. What are we going to do? You're going to add water. So you're going to add water. And how many waters are we going to add? One. Just one. Why? Because one O. Okay, one O per water. So, but now hopefully you see, well, and now we've got too many hydrogens, right? So what are we going to do over on this side? Add two H's plus. H pluses, yeah. So two H pluses, or two protons, okay? So now we've got all our atoms balanced but we need to balance our charges, okay? So what's our total charge on this side? That's negative one. Negative one, so zero minus one, add those together, that's negative one. Plus two minus one, what do we got? Plus one, right? So the only way that we can um, change the charge, right, is to add electrons. So electrons are negatively charged. So which side are we gonna add them to, left or the right? The right. The right, right? Because we want to get to the negative one. So we're going to add, so from one to negative one, how many electrons Two. do we have to add? Two. Like that. Okay? So that oxidation half reaction is balanced, and you can see now that we're losing electrons. Okay? So that checks off, definitely oxidation. Okay? So here, what are we going to add over here? Add the uh, eight of the water. Waters, so two H2Os, right? And over here, four H pluses, right? Okay, so is it, are all of our atoms balanced? Yes, but our charges aren't, right? Because we got zero over there, and what do we have over here? Three. Plus three, so we're gonna have to add three electrons, okay? So notice, we're adding electrons, so this is the reduction range, okay? But in order to add these up to get our full uh, reaction, right, our balanced redox reaction, we're going to have to um, balance those electrons, okay? So in order to balance a 3 and a 2, what do we have to do? Multiply by 2. So we multiply this one by three. 3 and this one by 2, right? Okay, so when we multiply that electrons, we have to multiply everything. So times 3, this one's 3, right? 3 times 1 is 3. 1 times 3 is 3. 2 times 3 6. 6. 2 times 3 6. 6. Okay? So this side we're going to do twos, right? Two times three? Six. Six. Two times four? Eight. Eight. Two times one? Two. Two. 
2 times 1? Two. 2. 2 times 2? Two. 4. Like that. Okay. So now are our electrons balanced? That's correct. Yes. So we can cancel them out. Okay, is there anything else on, in, on the reactant side that's also on the product side that we could cancel out? You cancel out your waters. The waters, okay. So here we have three waters. Here we have four waters. So we can cancel three of those waters out, right? So cancel. And I'll just cross out that coefficient one. Is there anything else you see that's the same? Your uh, H's hydrogen. Your protons, H pluses. Six of them there, so we'll get rid of six of them there. So we're going to have two, okay? So, is there anything else that's on both sides of the reaction? No, okay? So let's add this thing up. In fact, what we add up here, that would be the balanced reaction in an acidic solution, okay? So in fact, I'll put that, and we can um, adjust this problem to say, what would be the balance in an acidic, what would be the balance in a basic, okay? So, 3CN minus plus 2H plus plus 2MNO4 minus, okay, goes to 3CNO minus plus 2MNO2 plus H2O. Okay, so notice here we have protons, right? So this is an acidic solution. So this is the balanced equation in an acidic solution. solution. We also want it balanced in a basic solution, okay? So, how do we do that? Okay, I'm going to erase this top part and rewrite the equation, okay? Okay, so just a couple more steps. So it's a really steppy process, but once you understand it, it's not that bad. Okay, so in order to um, balance this in a basic solution, all we've got to do is see how many protons we have, and we're going to add the exact same number of hydroxide ions, but we're going to do it to both sides of the reaction, okay? Because just like in an algebraic equation, you have to do what, one side to the other, okay? So how many protons? Two. two. So we're going to add two hydroxides and two hydroxides like that. So whenever we have hy hydroxides and protons in the same side, they're going to react together and form water. So we have two hydroxides, two protons, so we're going to have how many water molecules? Two. two. Okay, so we're going to have two H2O plus three CN minus plus two MnO4 minus goes to 3CnO minus plus 2MnO2 plus H2O plus OH minus. Oops, 2OH minus. Okay? So now, hopefully you can see we've got something on the same on both sides of the reaction equation, right? What would that be? The, uh, the waters. Waters, right? So how many do we have over here? One. One and over here? Two. So we're going to just cancel one of those out over here, cancel this one out over there. So this is going to be the balanced, what we're going to write is the balanced reaction in a basic solution. So it's going to be H2O plus 3CN minus 
plus 2 MnO4 minus goes to 3 CnO minus plus 2 MnO2 plus 2 OH minus. Okay, so notice you don't see any protons in there, but you see hydroxide ions, right? So that's balanced in a basic solution. Balance in a basic solution. Okay. Any questions on that? No. Okay, like I said, just a long process. Okay.